Parasites, they are basically unwelcomed, uninvited friends. And they tend to just stick to you, glue to you, and then they nibble at you. They can eat up your hair, they chomp, 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 and then they multiply, and they go and invade more. Parasites are one of the major drivers of ecology, but not many people know about them. People say, oh, you know, if you put a plate of food in front of someone, the tape one might crawl out. But I don't think there's any truth in that. I became interested in parasites when I noticed that no one else noticed that they were around. I find things that generally scare people or graze people out quite cool. It has aspects of genetics and obviously the disease-causing aspect of parasites. I think that we have a moral obligation to really try and understand these organisms better in order to ultimately eradicate them. As soon as I tell someone that I work on parasites, their first response is to say, ew, uh, that's disgusting. They usually go, ooh. Sometimes you can even see people start to scratch. A lot of it comes from people not really understanding much about them. They think it's something that's going to hurt them or make them sick. I heard about this course through the Australian Society for Parasitology. It's a wonderful society that has been extremely supportive for people like me, early career researchers. I got an email from the Australian Wildlife Health Network, so I thought I'll put this out and put it up in the PhD area and it'll be great. Someone will get interested in parasites. I won't be the only one. And then three or four days later, I walked by and I thought, oh, wait a minute. I'm interested in this. It's been really a jam-packed program. It encompasses lectures, usually in the morning. Then we go in and do pracs that complement the lectures that we have. As a veterinary pathologist, I was hoping to get a little bit of exposure and recap some of the skills I've learned on identification techniques, and it's been very good. We went to the beach a couple of times and we learned how to do the wiggle in the sand, find some clam specimens for our workshops. It's really great being a hunter-gatherer outside the lab and still doing science. Here at Kyola is an absolutely beautiful setting. That really makes even areas that you're not necessarily interested in still enjoyable. The course opened up some new doors in terms of meeting and networking with people that otherwise I wouldn't have any contact with. The opportunity to mingle with the top heavy punching parasitologists in Australia with international reputation is just awesome. I've been very, very much impressed with the quality of the speakers and also with the amount of time that these academics have put into making really interesting cracks for us. I can say without qualification that it has exceeded my expectations. For me, ASP is really, I think, going to be an absolutely critical player in the development of parasitology in Australia and around the world. The study of the little parasites, the actual problems at the host, how all these factors interact, that's what parasitology is to me. I would like to do something that makes a real difference to quality of life for humans and animals around the world. It's ambitious, but I think that we should be ambitious, especially as early career researchers. I get to play with things that no one else wants to. These small, icky, strange things that other people overlook excites me.